Hi everyone, welcome back, happy new year. I hope you and your family have a really great Christmas and new year. And wishing you ahead a very fruitful, healthy, and safe and joyful year for 2021. Alright, today we're going to start with some uh, warming up exercise. Okay, it's quite pretty simple and it also has to deal with agility as well. So the first one is very simple, right? Look at the floor, I put two bean bags. Actually, you can use two soft toys at home, all right? You just need to jump in and out of the bean bag for let's say for around 30 seconds, all right? So this is your first warm up for the day. Very simple, right? Okay, you can even add in the hands like jumping jack. So you can do this for 30 seconds and then move on to the next one, all right? I'm going to introduce to you is pretty similar to the first one that we have done. I would like to call this in in, out out, in in, out out, in in out. Same thing, two soft toys on the floor or two wing bags if you have. Alright, and then this is how I do it. Ready, go. I do it slower for the start. And if you are ready, or once you have warm up, you can do it faster. In in, out out, in in, out out, in in. So after the first two warm-up drill, okay, we are going into our some to show you some of the little runs today that you can improve the agility as well. Alright, as you can see, I put two toys on the floor. This is pretty straightforward. Okay, what you need to do is just run as fast as you can to the other toy, tap the toy, come back, tap the, the other toy over here, which is an elephant, and then just keep going. Let's say maybe we'll do 6 to 10 times and then you have a break for 10 seconds. Alright, I'll show you. Ready? Go. Tap. 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 Four. Let's do 10. Alright. Five. Six. Seven. Actually, anything will do, okay, so long as they are pretty safe and it doesn't hurt you if you fall, okay, it's not going to hurt you, alright? So you can start from the end and we are ready, you just run, turn around. Okay, so the next running skills I'm going to show you involve in running forward, going sideways, backwards. All right, what you need to do is you place your toys at four corners, making a square on the floor or a rectangle. Okay, how big or how small it depends on how much space you have. You can make it bigger if you want, or you can make it smaller. All right, I'm going to show you once first, it just slower speed. All right. First, run forward, and then you go sideways. For this one, you go backwards. This one, you go sideways again. When you reach the starting point, turn around and run forward again. Okay, I'm going to show you in a faster speed. For 
this one, you can do for around six to eight rounds, and then you can have a break for let's say 30 seconds to one minute. Okay, the next part of our practice today involves some throwing and aiming skills, right? So what you can do is you can find a pail or bucket at home or you can use some laundry bucket. Okay, place it a decent way and to start with, we can try an underarm throw trying to let the toys, throw your toys and let it land into the bucket. Uh, the next right. throwing drills, okay, you can try to find three buckets from your home or three baskets and place them at a different distance from your point of throwing, alright? And just aim for the nearest one first. What happens if the toy draw out of the bucket? Never mind. Run forward, pick it up and try again and see how many times you need to run and shoot before all the toys go into the three basket. Start from the nearest one. Then you go for the middle one and then you go for the last one. Whoa! Alright, just now I have demonstrated uh, the underarm throw. Actually, you can try to use overarm throw as well. Same thing, put the bucket the distance away and then you aim for the basket. Oh, miss it, doesn't matter. Try one more time. Yep. Okay. See that? So that is overarm throw. You can try it as well. Same thing, you can also line up a few baskets at different distance and then try to shoot the toys into the different basket. Alright? Uh, just now, we have tried the underarm Okay, or overarm throw. The next one we try to be a little more fancy. Okay, how about we throw underneath your legs and see will the toys go into the basket or not? Okay, you can have a few toys ready. Okay, most likely the first one you might miss it. And let's see. Okay, can, then you need to continue to try the second or the third toy. All right. So throwing underneath the leg. So the next one, oh, I think it's even more challenging okay, and fun because this time we are going to do it with our eyes closed. Oh, so you need to have a good estimation of the distance between you and the bucket because this time your eyes need to be closed. To help you, to make it easier, the first time that you try it, you can open up your eyes and see how it goes. Then, close your eyes. Now you get it? Try again. Oh, it's too far. Let's see this time where we get it. Oh, now keep trying. Until you get it. Okay, close your eyes. Challenge of the day for throwing and aiming. What you need to do is you're going to combine what we have tried earlier the underarm throw, overarm throw, underneath the leg, and then 
close your eyes. And if same thing, if the toy drop off the bucket, doesn't matter, run forward, pick it up and try again. Okay? And let's see how many times you need to run before you can complete. Maybe I need to do 10 times. Okay? Maybe you only need to do two times. And you'll get it. Right? Let's see. The first one, underarm. Alright, next one. Overarm. Oh, run forward, pick it up. Yeah. The next one will be underneath the leg. Oh, miss it. Miss it. Run forward. Come back. Ah, almost. Almost. Trying. Yeah. And then the last one, close the eyes. So we have some running drills at the beginning to warm yourself up and so uh, do some training on your agilities and then later on we have some throwing and aiming practice drills for you to do at home okay. to make it more fun you actually you can have a lot of different varieties you can put the bucket lower or higher okay further away or nearer to you and also maybe you can get your siblings at home or your uh, helpers or parents to tell you to to tell you which bucket to throw. For example, they say the red one, then you throw the red one, the yellow one, you throw the yellow one, the one far at the end, then you throw it far at the end. So you can have different varieties, okay? Use your creativity, use your imagination. It can be real fun. And the most important thing of all is the things you are throwing, okay, should be soft, not hard, and you're not going to throw into anything that is breakable. All right? Of course, the best thing is you can find an open space, uh, let's say at a courtyard, or at the park or at the void deck, okay, to do all these drills and exercise. Alright, have a great day!